Today we begin the book of Titus, chapter 1. And Paul is writing to Titus, who is there on that beautiful Greek island in Crete. And he's telling him to choose to select men there on that island who can be pastors, who can be leaders, that know the Word of God and who know how to resist temptation. In fact, he gives some very specific qualifications. Listen to what he says. He says, For this reason I left you in Crete, that you should set in order the things that are lacking, and appoint elders in every city as I commanded you. If a man is blameless, husband of one wife, his house is in order, his kids are behaved. And he goes on to say this, He must be blameless as a steward of God, not self-willed, not quick-tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but hospitable, a lover of what is good, sober-minded, just, holy, and self-controlled. These are some very specific character issues. And Paul wants to make sure that those leaders, those pastors, those who are sharing the word are not sucked into the culture there in Crete that was very party-oriented, was very... Um, you know, full of all kinds of multiple wives and things like that. He goes on to say that, for there are many insubordinate, both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, the Jews. So he's trying to encourage, well, Titus to do things right. And it takes a strong leader to establish strong leaders. And so Paul, who was obviously one of the strongest leaders of all in the New Testament, says to Titus, these are the kind of men who need to be in ministry because he wants the church to be strong. And the church is strong if those who are leading it continue to follow the word of God in the way that God has called them to follow. So that's the instruction. And that's how First Titus begins, a strong admonition from Paul to choose faithful leaders. <music>